have the people to be objective about situations. Uh, my question is, in order to be objective, I think you cannot be attached to too many things. You have to be detached so that you can be objective. Uh, also, the having desires tend to get biases. So shouldn't you have to overcome those things to be objective? In order to examine that, we first need to understand what do we mean by detachment. Are we talking about physical detachment? The physical detachment is not possible. We are connected with each other. Whether you like it or not, your actions affect many others. And what you are enjoying today itself is a result of actions of many others. So physical detachment is not possible. What about emotional detachment? Emotional detachment again gives a connotation that you should not have emotions. Is that possible? Is that how we are meant to be living? Like machines? Like not having any emotions? No, not at all. Neither it is possible nor it is desirable. The third, the detachment also somehow is connected with not having desires. This notion is also not true. Not having desire is also not possible. Human being is born with a mind which is desiring and it is capable of desiring and in fact Ichha, which is the desire, is considered to be a great Shakti, the biggest capacity that a human being has. Anything that takes place is because of your desire. That Lord Krishna was talking to Arjuna because he wanted, he desired to teach Arjuna. Arjuna was asking questions because he desired to learn from Lord Krishna. So desire, pointing to desire as something which is not desirable is a biggest problem. This way we end up living in a created world where things which are natural, which are healthy, are labeled as something not good. And that is the complex, then you always wonder how to be free from emotions, how to be free from desires, how to not to be connected with the world. These are all the objectives which are not desirable and they are not possible either. Whereas objectivity is a very potent word. Objectivity means you can have desires, you can have as many desires as you want provided you learn to manage them. You, if you are the master and if you choose your which desire you are going to go along with and which are the desires with which you are not going to go along with, then you are free with reference to those desires. With reference to your actions, if you can choose what you go along with, what you don't go along with, then you are free from having any complex of that I should be physically detached from the world. Also with reference to emotions, if you can free your emotion of let's say love from sense of control, trying to strangulate others, having big agenda for others out of your love, then you are free to have all the good emotions that are very desirable to, uh, for people to live healthy in the world. So therefore, objectivity is to free one's emotions like love from control, to have desires but to be able to manage them, to understand your interconnectedness with the universe as a given thing, and to act responsibly out of that understanding is objective living. And it's not detachment. Just wanted to know, you know, it's easy for us to sit here in class and listen to you. But when you get back outside, in the outside world, there's so much negativity. There's so much that you have, you know, we all have to face. How do we deal with that? The world is challenging. There is no doubt. 
but let us look can we label it as so many negative things in fact there is no such thing called one world there is so many people in this world each one is a mixture of some very positive things and some things which are making the person not act in an appropriate manner so i cannot live the life thinking that the world out there is negative because if i start to live my life with that assumption then that becomes the baseline from which i'm going to assess everything and if i start with that baseline assumption which lies within myself definitely it affects how i interpret the situation and how i interpret the people therefore it is very important that you free yourself from any underlying assumption about the world because world the reality about the world is that it is changing all the time and even one person you cannot categorically say it's good or bad or this or that because person keeps changing the motivations keep changing the responses keep changing and you yourself also keep changing you cannot label yourself as either only good or only bad because you have both and at times you are very kind person and at times something out there interferes which enables you not to respond to the situations properly and this is exactly what arjuna the person like arjuna who was portrayed as so exalted person he was saying that anichchan api vashneya balativa niyojitaha my mind even though i understand something is not right somehow there is some force out there takes it away and makes me do things which are inappropriate and that is something which is not only out there it is with reference to each and every one of us and if that is the situation you have to what is the key to living properly to key to living objectively is that you recognize your own limitations and you also begin to see your own strengths you try to correct your limitations by understanding things up more objectively the more you do that with reference to yourself the more you can be understanding of others therefore the baseline of operation is let me be an open person willing to revise myself revise my understanding let me also be an open person who can understand people even if they are doing something which is inappropriate i try to understand where they are coming from and try to accommodate them try to communicate with them and try to reach the best possible situation and this is how i would live in the world i may have some preliminary judgments about things but i am always willing to revise those judgments this is how i become an open person there are others who go to the other extreme and they said let me be positive about everything that is another extreme which sometimes takes you away from objectivity if you are in the positive mode you always impute something very positive where you miss out certain problems right both problems that you need to handle with reference to situations and also with reference to people okay so therefore neither you can label everything as negative nor you can label everything as positive you need to see that things are changing and each situation requires a different response and different understanding on your part so the key is openness and assessing the situations in the manner the way they are and that is what we are trying to achieve and not labeling either yourself or the outside world in a given block because the world is nothing but nuances it's dynamic and it is nuances you cannot label it in one block and then relate to the world objectively